Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, introducing a new series, hopefully a series, into the YouTube channel. It's going to be a full-on, hardcore, zero-to-hero run in Marauders. If you don't play this game, you have to start playing this game. It's super addictive. It's one of the most fun games I have played in a minute. It is so good. I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. And so I wanted to create this, uh, this series of a full zero-to-hero run. Just so you guys can get a gist of the game if you haven't played it. And if you have, maybe you can get a laugh about how trash I am. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, let's jump straight into the rules of the game. Basically, the series will be a more hardcore version of the Zero to Hero type runs that you've likely seen Tarkov players or Marauder players attempt before. The reason I say hard, more hardcore is because it, there's going to be a few rules in place that will make getting a start much harder. The first rule is that I can't take anything off the Rust Bucket table. I think it'll be more interesting to not have any gear going into this and any runs than to just go in with a Luger and snowball off of it since it's fairly easy to do. The second rule is that I'm not going to be allowed to use the crafting or trading features, except in a few specific scenarios, which we'll get to in a second. The third and final rule, which I haven't exactly decided on how it will work or if it will even be implemented, is a Modern Warfare 2 losing streak idea, where if I go into a few runs with some decent gear and I die like two or three times in a row, I'm thinking I might be able to use the trader to buy a Mouser or a Luger, or maybe even a knife, depending on if there are no pistols available. But I just think that that would be an interesting idea. Just help get me back on track if I start losing constantly, which, <laughs> let's be honest, that's going to happen a lot. Anyways, uh, now let's get into the traders and the crafting ideas for a second, since I did say it's very specific scenarios. The reason I say that is because things like attachments and lockpicks are impossibly hard to find in raids. Lockpicks, I'm not even sure if you can find them in raids other than by killing people. And attachments you have to find, to my knowledge at least, the only place you can find attachments is in supply drops. Um, of course, excluding crafting the lockpicks and attachments. You can only find them in supply drops and on dead players' bodies. So it's going to be really annoying to get those. So lockpicks, I think I'm definitely going to allow crafting maybe two or three episodes in. But attachments, we'll see how many supply drops I'm getting. I just wanted to explain the rules again since I didn't do it very well in this intro clip. Just so you guys know what's going on and how all this is going to work in the future. This is probably a bad idea. I probably shouldn't be going to the, uh, the Navy outpost because it's like, you know, the most geared AI. But... Who cares? Who cares? In my opinion... Y'all saw that too, right? What? Uh... What the heck? Hey, yo? I know where I am. I just need to, like, what? Okay, I didn't need to think about that. I'm gonna go back over here. Let's think about this, right? How should I go about? T how should I go about this? Because like, you no, know, was just full sprint. It. Oh, I think I just heard another one. Just go for it. Just send it. Oh. I changed my mind. Uh oh. I'm so dead, dude. There's nothing I can do here. This is such an unfortunate spawn. Get me out of here! What the? Okay, I'll, I'm gonna go this way. I think. I think I can. Okay, yeah, I'm. I'm so screwed. <laughs> is there anybody in here? Go, 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 go. They're following me. Throw my booty cheeks. Wait. Yo! No. No. I can't do anything. I'm out of stamina. Let me leave me alone. Please be a gun. No. A knife, anything? I got a barrel backpack, so that's pretty pog, but like... 
can't do anything with that. Okay, how about this? Uh, uh, come on. Got to be something somewhere, right? It's got to be a gun or a knife. Anything, dude. Just a weapon. You just have a gun? No. Bruh. Give me the ring. I want the ring. Give me it. Okay, forget the ring. <gasps> yes! Wait, why is this guy unlooted though? What? That's kind of sus. This is a huge gun. That's big. That's a big come up. If we can get that out. Is it even worth trying to leave though? Like now with it? I don't even think it is. Because we don't have very much ammo for it. I think it's just worth trying to like stay and kill somebody. Oh well now I find the knife of course. We're going to equip that. Oh, he's not dead? I'm almost dead. Hey, yo. Bandages? Yes. Oh, no. Dude, nah, I literally jumped so far. Oh my god. Okay. So. That went well. Uh, I'll take that stun. Take the helmet as well. Everything, every piece of armor counts. I am going to be able to repair stuff. I'm going to allow repairing stuff just because... Having to deal with like half broken armor on every single run is gonna suck. So we're just gonna allow repairing stuff. Uh-oh. Why does he run up like that? What is that? Attempt number two.
also, I just checked OBS and uh, I haven't been recording my mic audio. For the past two raids, my mic hasn't been recording. I mean, I was pretty much just being stupid anyways. And